Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is your mid-month tarot reading session for you Pisces. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Pisces friends out there. What can I get for Pisces please? What is the message that's meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Pisces, okay? Before I start, guys, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further connect and support my channel, Pisces, I invite you to also please follow me on my blog. Subscribe in our newsletter, sunshine-tv.com, okay? So this is your reading. Let's see what's coming towards you mid-month. Mid-month. In love, career, finance, general situationship, and relationship. Okay? Let's see. First card is you've got the king of cups. The king of love. It seems to be a relationship reading. Could be a relationship towards a family, a friend, a lover. But someone important to you. Mm. They're quite stuck. They miss you. Someone, someone who miss you. Could be overseas. They miss you big time. King of Cups. At some point, you're really, really close, but you've been drifted away, or maybe someone is upset, but they miss you now. Like, it's it's just sad that you cannot be together, or you cannot talk, or... It's just really is a lot of disappointment and regret. I don't know what this person did to you. I don't think this is you. They miss you. It was not the ideal situation that you and this person were involved. Um, that's not what they really want to happen. In fact, this person have learned their lesson. They really miss you. They want you to be their ally. They want you to be next to them. Okay? You, you are the, the... If they're the king, you are the queen. You know, it, it could be a different gender, but, you know, male or female. Queen of Cups king of cups maybe a best friend or it could be a boss who um you're really the favorite one it's a coupling there is this energy in here that we're like you're stronger together they miss you as an ally as a colleague as a business partner as a lover as someone they dated okay they miss you yeah ace of cups in reverse the six of ones in reverse life has been full of s-h-i-t <laughs> They're going through, you know, this person is, I, and I think you do. I think you, Pisces, is also affected that you and this person are not getting along. You guys are not talking or there is a, like there's a pinch in your heart when you think of this person. And when you think that your relationship towards them, it's been, it's been fractured or it's been, there's some sort of feeling um like there's a crack you know there's a there's this there's something in your relationship that it has already imagine there's a chip on you you found a chip on a glass so there is that crack you know in in the glass both of you i think you are mending a broken heart very sad you know, it's no longer revengeful. The The energy that I'm picking up today, it's not in revenge. It's not hate. It's not rage. It is sadness. Sadness and loneliness that you cannot be together or it's hard to work with one another because you're still in the process of healing. It's coming to a point of a realization and acceptance that, you know, uh, Pisces is still my best friend. Pisces is still my best lover, my my person. Yeah, could be a boss, could be a friend, could be a manager, could be a lover, someone you dated. But you are their person. This is the learning. Because they're so affected, and I think you do are affected as well. They're so affected with you and them separation or with you and them arguing, with you and them having this, um, having this, I don't know, um, having this situation where you're not okay. Not being able to talk to one another like like you were talking before. Yeah, they want to end the riff. They want to end the misunderstanding. They want to end all of this sadness and loneliness towards you. You know, they don't want to lose you as an ally, as, an, as a friend. 
eight of wands they don't know how to start it could be it could be that it was so messy the way you break up separated or the way you guys this are you know the way you had an argument it was so messy they don't know how to start it again they don't know how to approach or start all over again with you this this the energy that i'm picking up today it it is all coming from your person and it's quite strong they don't know how to do it like they don't know the exact question or i don't know one liner that they could tell you so you could they just don't know how to approach you or the situation but they're very attached with you it's it's becoming a hobby for this person to stalk you to look at you to feel whether you're ready to talk you know every day they would look at your instagram account or social media account or maybe they ask friends around you how is spices you know pisces <laughs> the spices they ask pisces they want to find out details the right time your nine of pentacles it haunts them the thought does not leave them they need to do it they need to call you text you approach you they're waiting for the right time they're waiting for the right moment they've been gathering a lot of information and details and stalking you to really to really build that momentum yeah they miss you big time building the momentum mm. and I'm also getting like this person, they want it to be perfect. They don't want some sort of um, error in the manner that they approach you. Yeah. King of Cups, you could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, a lot of fire. <clears throat> a lot of fire and desire. Okay. All right. See. Hangman, you see, they have a lot of on and off. Like, I don't know how you fight or how you bicker or what sort of words you say. Maybe you block them. The hangman is in reverse, sorry, upright position. They're struggling to get into you. Maybe you block them. That it that made it more impossible for them. Like, it's so difficult if you block them. Or, or if you ignore them. I really, I really feel like if this is at home or at work, this person is trying to really have a small talk to you, but you ignore them. You give them a cold shoulder. And they're struggling. Yeah. Queen of Swords, yes. Like, they're struggling. Like, how, like, their arms is open and the sword is up. It means that I'll tell you the truth. My arms is open. Can you just pay attention with me? Like, this person is quite bleeding. They're bleeding inside. Like, how much more I could be tortured? <laughs> You're torturing them by ignoring them. By not saying anything, by blocking them. You torture them. You know, sorry. Like, how much more should you torture me for you to talk to me? Yeah. They're losing hope. They're actually losing a lot of hope that you will still talk to them or call them or text them. Most especially if this person is really trying to make a conversation with you. They're losing hope. If you block this person, I think for some of you, this person will make a move. And then when they call you, they will text you. They will find out that you blocked them. And they lost hope. Yeah. They will be more sad. Because they cannot believe. They've been building the moment to call you, text you. And then boom, block. You block them. Well, it's free will. You know, it's free will. You have a free will. They have a free will. You know, and this is the consequences or the aftermath. You know, if you want to hear someone say sorry to you or someone say, you know, I miss you or something, unblock them. But this is someone in here who is like, enough of this spices, you know, queen of swords. You have already tor tortured me or I have already tortured you. Let's not play this game. Let's talk. Something like that. Queen of swords. Because it's it started emotionally. And it ended up with a Queen of Swords and a Two of Wands. Like, I can't wait anymore. You know, let's talk logically. What is your worries and concern? What is my worries and concern? Let's not be emotional. Let's be logical and practical. Let's make sense to the situation. Because I don't want to be your enemy. They want you to be their lover, you know. They don't want you to be their enemy. They want to be okay with you. If this is a friend or a boss or a lover... You know, they would like to be okay with you. 
you're the one person that they would they would pissed they want to be okay with you that's the goal they can't stand this situation quite sad but you know free will people have free will consequences aftermath after effect this is it you know there's no more hate it's just coming to a point of let's compromise or hear me out something so this is your reading thank you so much guys for tuning in thanks for being here don't forget to subscribe in our newsletter go to the website sunshine-tv.com and guess viewers beautiful friends you know hit the subscribe button in the bell and i'll see you soon again guys i will be uploading the next reading um in the next couple of days okay bye guys